Hi Gaming here, and we are going to be playing Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator. Basically, uh, GTA meets Train Simulator. Um, <clears throat> one second. Let me kind of adjust the volume there, make sure the game's not too loud. Okay, so we have uh, survival. You can play with survival elements, manage the locomotive, and complete transportation jobs, complete missions for the Mafia. And we can play without survival elements, <clears throat> and then you just uh, manage the locomotive and complete transportation jobs. So let's click on survival. I played a little bit of the tutorial, so <clears throat> we're going to skip it and see how it goes. Пассажиры и железнодорожники. Частный перевозчик товарищ Миша принят обратно на грузовую линию. Желаем вам приятного и безопасного путешествия. Рада тебя снова видеть. Здорово, что ты вернулся на работу. Когда сходим на чашечку кофе. Рад тебя видеть, старый товарищ. Пора вернуться на железнодорожные рельсы и доказать, что ты лучший в своем деле. Выполняя свои обязанности на железной дороге, ты одновременно будешь работать на сибирскую братву. Ты знаешь, что это непросто, но я обещаю, что тебе будут щедро платить за каждое выполненное задание. Помни, сколько времени у нас ушло на то, чтобы убедить директора заново оформить все тебя лицензии. Он сказал, что у него много заказов на перевозку по маршруту до Красноярска, и его нельзя подвести, иначе снова попадешь в булок. Прежде чем приступить к работе, вспомни, как управлять локомотивом. This guy looks like a drunk. <laughs> uh, let's go over here. And uh, <clears throat> let's get us a... Uh, let's get us a Kalashnikov. Alright, we'll go down here. Uh. All to the boss's king. <coughs> hmm. So we get a Kalashnikov and uh, some bullets. <coughs> All right, so at the moment, we cannot do a quest from them. Let's go turn our, uh, let's go mess with our locomotive. For now, I'm going to drag everything out of my inventory, because uh, <coughs> at the moment, we don't really need it. say there was like a compressor or something I had to 
flip a switch on. Oh, there's this thing. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and close that outside door so uh, we don't let uh, the cold in. Okay, so we need to turn on that heating. Наконец-то можно продать эту кучу хлама. В нем постоянно что-то ломается. Let's see. If I remember right, we turn on field generator, compressor, engine cooling. Turn this on. <coughs> and then... We should be able to... Should be able to fully release the brakes. Okay. So now. Oh, wait, wait, we have to. Okay, maybe I forgot something. <laughs> oh, forgot to release this handbrake too. There we go. All right, so now.
Alright. I, I kind of forget how to turn the... Uh... I only played this once. Uh... I was... Because these gauges are supposed to start moving, I thought. What am I doing wrong? <coughs> Let's see. What a... Oh, I remember now. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. There we go. Yeah, I was like, dang, what am I doing wrong? Okay, now. Wait. There we go. Now, now I got the train moving. Okay. <laughs> I was like, dude, what is going on? All right. So now we need to get this thing on. I don't remember how to turn that on. Okay, so we got our train functioning. Uh, we can inspect it at the moment. Oh, our our speedometer actually should have been replaced. So is it broken? Oh, stop the train! and break real quick so we can get a wrench and a uh <clears throat> I didn't know we needed I thought that was only part of the tutorial where you had to fix it uh that actually explains why that guy said your train's broken we'll get a wrench and we'll get a speedometer 
That's why I was wondering why the speedometer wasn't even moving. Okay, so our first objective is to get the uh, coal cars and uh, move them. Okay, now that we got that fixed, let's uh, let's try that again. Need our train. Okay, should be able to start breaking now. say turn power to the other locomotive but I don't I guess we can try it because that'll be a little easier coupling them just being able to see so it says you have to grab the uh, key out of this one you might have to shut this locomotive off back it up it'll be all right I think once it connects it just hooks as long as it doesn't go above 10 we should be good or five uh, five is the safe coupling speed if you couple any higher uh, it says you have a chance to damage stuff so I'm actually not sure how you even pull the key out. drop speed
game over. You're telling me I hit the cars too hard and they just blew up? I was literally going like one mile per hour too fast. Well, take it from me, folks. Uh, don't don't risk. Uh... Don't, don't risk your train, it ain't worth it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get that all fixed up now. Now that we, uh, now that we got this bad boy uh, put back together. Okay, so... Go ahead and break. That should be far enough right there. I must say that's more than enough. <coughs> oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's uh let's try not to do that again. That was that was a little embarrassing that uh you can be backing up that far and literally blow the train up <laughs> just by barely tapping it. In the tutorial, it tells you five miles per hour, so I'm not sure what all these mean, but uh, we're just going to put in MR and... We're going to try to let it not exceed five because we don't want to, uh, uh, I need to get something to drink and something to eat. We don't want to cause, uh, too much chaos on the line. <laughs> All right, so we should be able to go back here and we can't control the train, but we might be able to set the brakes and stuff. Not sure. Okay, we can do braking from this side, so we just can't control like throttle response and stuff. I really like how in depth they did the, um, <clears throat> like the, uh, interior of the train, like all the controls you have to turn on. That's, uh, that's pretty neat how these games are getting so detailed. So right now our air and everything looks good. Two point six kilometers. Let's 
So let's see, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.8, okay. As long as we don't hit above, um, uh, see, what is this? Warning, breaking may become unavailable. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that would be terrible. The heating not being available, that would be really bad. All right, let's make sure we're not going above five. We're getting just really close. That's why I don't really want to chance it <clears throat> again. We we're literally going six in it. We'll do 5% breaking. Fifteen percent breaking. I'm trying to figure out how you know that this is platform 8. Let's see here. I'm not sure how you even know what platform six is. I'm not sure if the game's just going to tell you or what. Oh, let's... But we are full steam ahead. At this, uh, when it's yellow, we are allowed to go 40 kilometers an hour. When it hits 60, or hits green, we're allowed to go 60 kilometers an hour. So, 
I say let's sit back and enjoy a brewski. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. Love me some beer. Alright, so for the moment, we don't need anything to drink, so we can put that all up. Not sure if we can fix that, uh... Not sure if we can fix that one part. That would be nice, so we can have that as a spare or sell it. I'm assuming your train can get upgraded to pull these larger trains. We'll have to pay attention because if it hits, uh, I think it's it's like yellow and green. You have to be cautious or something. Point nine kilometers away. We're going to make it. Stop before the next railroad signal.
Yeah, that's what it was. Stop before the next one. Because there's a train that's gonna, like, interfere with my travel. to stop the train! Out of the way! Is this the train I'm supposed to shoot? No, it's empty. So you can put it in position eight, being fully loaded, and it not stall the train out. That's actually pretty legit. So your train also, you have to keep the train at a certain temperature. Uh, that's why you have to watch because if your heaters go out while you're in transit, there's a potential you could not make it to your destination <clears throat> because you might freeze to death. Now, also, this is a prologue, so, you know, you got to expect, you got to just uh, take it with a grain of salt what we're getting right now, but I'm seeing a... Uh, I'm seeing, let's see, Scrapyard, Bar, Mafia Shop, Hangar. Picking up a package and explosive charges from Nikita. Okay. So Nikita wants me to blow something up, huh? Okay.
Also, I hope y'all have a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, I really appreciate y'all for joining me today. I'll be posting this on Memorial Day. I'm recording Sunday, the day before. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to probably play more Call to Arms, or might jump on this again. I don't know yet. I'll hopefully... Uh, Oh nice, check that out. Hopefully I'll kind of be able to plan some stuff out this week. Um, my schedule gets a little sporadic at work, so I don't really get a chance to schedule nothing, so... is just waiting on the other end of the bridge. Looks like he's right there. Let's go ahead and stop the train. Let's go talk to our uh, comrade friend here, see what he's got. Ради этого момента я трудился часы, дни и недели на полет. Как дротехник я творил волшебство в воздухе. Разноцветные вспышки и узоры – это словно мои кисти, рисующие восхитительные картины в небе. Я ухожу отсюда. Я всегда должен действовать профессионально и заботиться о безопасности. Заложи взрывчатку на мосту. Только смотри, не взорви при этом свой поезд. У тебя на это 15 минут. <coughs> oh, I have to plan them on that bridge? How am I going to get back over? I guess the game doesn't care. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's like I can plane them and then run away. Otherwise I'll have to move my whole train. Oh, my train's already off the bridge, so... Yeah, because I would have to move off the bridge as well. I'm assuming you don't have to do this part either. Like, this is all optional. Oh, you have 30 seconds. Run! Run, get out of here! Holy shit. Yeah, hopefully that is far enough away. I won't even make it back to my train in time. Is it that? I just want to look real quick. Is it actually like blown up where you can't? Oh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there ain't no train going over there. I 
have one hour and 15 minutes to do that. Plus, also, work work is my railroad job. I got 42 minutes to do that, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> you get pretty good money, though, for blowing up the, the bridge. That, uh... <laughs> That, um, that, that paved the way for making money. Alright, so now... We have to get our train going. How do I turn the cab fan on? get the railroad cars delivery point is three kilometers away So it said the when you release and charge it, you don't really want to do that. You want to leave it on service. position optimal. up to 60. Dangerous place. Okay, so when it says that, slow down. This ain't good.
man, that's frustrating. Uh... I guess when it says slow down, just I'm gonna slow down. That's that's what I'm gonna do. slow down too though or how you even know you're supposed to slow down Maybe it's because it's a real sharp curve. Well, that kind of freaked me out for a minute because I was like, man, I hope, I hope we make it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to buy more food and drink. <clears throat> I like how we're more worried about making money for the mafia than we are about like operating our railroad. All right, so we're getting real close to the railroad switch. We just, we still got a little bit, but we want to make sure we're ready because we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to throw a switch. Is what it's looking like. Speed up. 
Almost there. Let's go ahead and stop the train. That's just the train break. So it looks like some of the switches are controlled by um, by the actual like <clears throat> railroad people, and then there's only a few that you actually have to switch. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, that probably will keep you really that probably will keep you on track a lot. And it also tells you like when you're getting really close to a destination, so you can kind of prepare yourself. Um, <laughs> we have 32 minutes to get the train uh, where it needs to be. And we also can go in inspect mode and we can actually see It makes me wonder, we blew that bridge up, how are we going to get back? Oh, our heaters are wearing out. We might have to turn those off. Uh... if we too can haul passengers <laughs> we'll definitely have to go to the shop too I think we need more food and uh, stuff like that um, let's get a beer real quick so we can cure my hangover I 
go ahead and put it at one just so that we keep rolling. Um, when we get a little closer, we'll actually set the brakes. percent sure how you uh, I'm assuming you just have to turn the whole train off and then you can pull the uh, key out and um, <clears throat> swap over to the other locomotive Oh, perfect. So they give you a lot of room. Let's go turn this uh, package into uh, Bolt for Boris. can't pull these uh, these passenger cars couplers to cause some chaos damn it that'd be hilarious if you could just like disconnect rail cars Интересно, что же в этих чертежа? Дайте мне пакет. Я очень люблю изучать новое и пополнять свои знания. Я уверен, что эти материалы помогут мне улучшить результаты. A bunch of milk. Vodka. Well, don't don't mind if I do. Get some onions and some carrots. 
flowers, some broccoli. So, we, we could just start blasting. But, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if blasting, like, does anything. Like, I'm not sure if we're actually supposed to, um, like, what we're supposed to do now. It's green, but this thing's red. hilarious you actually have to like back it up let's go check the hangar out and see what's in there to get new heaters. I think our uh, our heaters fucked up. Oh, the hangar is where we work on the train. Let's inspect real quick. Okay, it looks like the only things that are broken are the heaters. So 
let's just run over to the hangar because I really don't want to play like swap the track right now. Um. Not sure how uh, how we're supposed to get back, or like what our next objective is. Do you have to like go in the actual place and talk to people and like ask them for work or? Because uh, without the heater, we're, we're pretty much dead. So let's go, uh, let's try and find the, uh, Glanvy, or however you say that, and let's see if we can pick a job up. I figured you could pick jobs up at the deal, but, like, uh, you would just call the thing, but the prologue just might not have any more jobs, I'm not sure. If we can get another job taking us back home, that'd be great. Oh, you can't just jack a train either. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Can you can you steal a train? If it comes down to it, we're just gonna end the uh, we're gonna end today's prologue by just shooting up the station. What y'all think about this game? Um, I think when it comes out, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pretty big game, big hit, you know.
Let's see, there has to be a way to get other loads. <clears throat> All right. A Russian. That's a pretty fucked up game that you can even do this. Just shoot the station up. Oh, and you can shoot the trains. I saw somebody blow their own train up. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, run for the hills. Shot like sheep. Could be no survivors. <coughs> That's insane that you can even like do that, man. It's gonna be a pretty fun game, like, uh... <clears throat> it's pretty insane that, uh, they even allow you to, like, act the way you do in this game. I'm sure in the, the actual game, though, you'll probably start with no money. You won't be able to buy the Kalashnikov right off the bat. Um... I'm not sure. We'll have, to, we'll have to see how that plays out. Because that, that seems like it could be very, very lucrative how that works. Let's see.
sh I shot the train all up. Let's see how fast we can get the train going. Y'all have a great week.